A local 24 News exclusive. Residents of one area of North Haven are worried they are living in a public health danger zone. Bags filled with household trash dumped by people who most likely don't want to pay for trash pickup. Residents say they are tired of seeing it and tired of smelling it. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews went to see what's going on. We're over in North Haven. This is at the very end of McWhorter Avenue. There's a little cul-de-sac. Nobody's living here, I can tell you that, but they sure are dumping stuff. This is basically a landfill. The dead-end streets of North Haven have been magnets for trash for years. We're talking couches, appliances, chairs. And unfortunately for North Haven residents, the big stuff usually ends up right next to the illegal dumping signs. There was TVs, couches, trash of all types, tree limbs, all of that was back there. This is worse. We found household garbage, bits of food, used prophylactics, other types of medical waste. All of this within walking distance for the children who live right around the corner. We seen one the other day, like right over here. It's, the car literally pulled up and within like 20 seconds he was gone, but he came back through, all the trash gone off his car. Others on McWhorter Avenue say they often see pickup trucks loaded with trash bags head down their streets. When they come back, the trucks are empty. The folks we spoke with say they've called Shelby County officials. We've called. We've called. It just seemed like for the past couple of weeks, it's gotten real bad. It's worse than it's ever been. North Haven is a place where life can be a challenge, a working class place. Most of the homes are in pretty good shape. Residents must pay to have their trash removed. Shelby County does not provide that service. But some people have apparently decided not to pay. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm always here. And I never have seen anyone go down there and try to pick that trash up. We have let the mayor's office know exactly what's going on over here. They say they are aware of it, and they're looking into it right now. In North Haven, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News. 